Okay. So this is just a short video to show how to run your Python scripts or like web scraping uh, spiders if you have them hosted on uh, Python anywhere, how to schedule the tasks to run them automatically. And specifically, if you have a virtual environment, to make sure that the script is executed properly on the virtual environment, if you have some libraries installed in that, pro in that uh, virtual environment. Um, if you have a normal environment, you can just specify the path here and uh, let the um, app UI file to execute. But if you have a virtual environment, you make sure that it's executed in a virtual environment. So basically, just a simple example here. What I have here is um, um, I have a spider which is basically just crawls um, Yelp website and uh, I can show you the file just one second. Yeah, so just a simple spider. It goes to one website or this restaurant and takes their reviews, puts that in a Jinja template and then sends the email to my email address. So I have using some libraries here like Jinja, Scrappy and uh, when I run this script uh, I have it running on my virtual environment. So when I run my virtual environment I just uh, run the script and it scrapes the um, Yelp website gives me some uh, output here and I can see that the mail was sent directly I can check my uh, email inbox and I have this email here with all their reviews so what I want to do I want to make sure that I can schedule these tasks to run this spider on Python anywhere and in a virtual environment so Basically, the uh, list of comments, what you need to do is uh, you need to go to the root environment, then you have to activate your virtual environment, and then go to the folder where you have your app UI file, execute this file, and then deactivate it. All right. Let's try, actually, before we put it in the task, let's see like how it works first. So basically, right now this is uh, my virtual environment is activated. Let's deactivate it. So the first command is to change the root environment. It goes to the root environment. Then the second command is to activate the virtual environment. Now you can see that it's I'm in the my virtual environment. And then you just go to the folder where you have your app UI file and it will be different for for you. But this is my path, so I go here and then I can check that here I have my app UI file. Okay, and then just execute and uh, deactivate. Let's try this properly to see that it works. Just execute. And then deactivate. All right. So in this task scheduler, make sure that you're checking the time in. This is the time in UTC time zone, so it's 7 or 8 right now. So basically, just put all these tasks with a semicolon like this. All right, put all these tasks here. Then execute the Python API file. So it's uh, 7 or 9 right now. So let's say we're we want to schedule for 7 10. 
create. And now the task is created. All right. Let's see if it works. Let's refresh this page. Still 709. Okay, so it's uh, 710 right now. And you can see all your task logs here. Seconds. All right, looks like uh, it's running. Let's wait a few seconds more. All right, and I see that it was executed. So I see that email was sent. And if I check my email inbox, so this is it. 4, 10, 7, 10 EDC time zone, and I can see all information which was automatically sent to my email inbox. All right, so that's it. So you can uh, schedule a task daily or hourly and uh, get automatically any information you're trying to get with your scripts. Like, for example, in this case, it's uh, getting information about the comments on Yelp to your inbox daily. All right. Hope this helps to the person, to the people who have uh, problems with this. Thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.